Hello there. Um, my name is John, and I thought I'd uh, try to show you a little something on how to work with a bootstrap template. So, I'm working with a very simple page, um, and this is the uh, main template here. Okay, so we got a normal template already made, and this is what I'm dealing with, and I want to change this picture because I have another one that I made, and it's got the same picture. Okay, but if I change the picture on this page that has the exact same template, well, almost exact same template because I changed the words and I want to change the picture, but if I change the picture on this template, it will also change on the index. Okay, so we can't do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this picture and we're going to say, okay, so where's this picture located at? All right, the picture here is located on the CSS style page okay so we can go to the style and we're gonna find the template or we're gonna find out where it's at on the uh, style CSS so this is the new one that I'm making and it's all the way down I think in the 490 somewhere and here it is right there okay that's the JPEG all right so if we change it, it will change it on the index too. So how do we do it? All right, this is how I was told and I figured it all out. What we have to do basically is make another CSS and then replace it in this page. Okay, so here's how I figured out how to do it. So I'm going to open up a folder. And this one, uh, this particular page I called lack of energy okay so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna basically copy it and I'm just gonna go paste so here's the style page alright and in this one here I'm just gonna call it style I'm gonna rename it Oops. rename style lack of energy because that's basically what the page is called so now I know exactly what that CSS page is going to be so there it is and I'm going to open that CSS separately okay so let's uh, open with my Adobe Okay, so here's the CSS. Now it's going to be the same one. I'm going to go all the way back down to pay to the where that where it is. It's going to be the same thing. Where the 490? Did I say? Okay, therapy nine resized. So again, this is the same, but we want to change that. We, that's not the picture we want. So I'm going to find that. Let me go find the picture that I want. I'm going to bring it up for you, okay? Because I already I already made the picture. I, I'm going to show you the picture that I want on it. Oops, I'm going to show you. It's not coming up. So let me uh, find the picture for you. The image. Um, here it is. Energy Low. This is the name of the picture. Energy under slash low. That's the one. Okay. Right there. So let's bring it back up. So it's called energy low dot JPEG. So we'll just switch it. Here's the CSS. I'm going to delete that. Energy. There it is right there. Under L O W. There it is. Energy low. So I got that. The picture should be there. Bam. There's the CSS. File. Save. So now the proper CSS file is there. Now what do we do? Let's go back to the HTML. All right. It's the same one still there. That's not the one I want. So now 
we go back to the source code source code sorry let's find the link to it um, where is it at I think I passed it there it is style CSS now what did I call that CSS it should come up lack of energy there it is now let's see that picture change bam there it is pictures changed proper pictures there yeah looks like I could change the picture a little bit I might have to edit that picture now but I was hoping to be a little bit better and fit all of it but that's how you do it guys so now um, you gotta be very careful not because you can't miss the uh, mess up with the CSS um, when I save it that'll change too so file save site put there it is it was say it was changed now the proper CSS is there the index is the same and I solved the problem so when you're messing with templates that's what you have to do if you want to change the picture and you want to make it different from the index original picture so you can change pictures and you can change anything but you got to change the uh, the original style CSS and uh, just and what, what you'll do is um, anything you want to change you're just gonna have to make multiple CSS's for every every uh, different page that you wanna if you want to change the pictures or anything that you want to change you're gonna have to make multiple CSS's for every new page that you make uh, whenever you want to make adjustments to them okay hope this helps out and uh, you know leave a message if you want thank you